Here I have Sony Xperia XZ2 Compact and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following smartphone. So basically let me show you how to remove the factory reset protection from the following phone. As you can see at some point of the initializing setup process the verify your account screen pops up and here if you would like to go next you need to enter your email and password to your Google account. Let's suppose that you forgot your password so let me show you how to bypass this step. Let's go back by using your back key a couple of times. Of course it's important to have the internet access as you can see my Wi-Fi is connected. Now let's choose the visual aids right here. Here you have to choose the talkback and let me enable the talkback function. Tap OK. Talk back on. Talk back is a screen reader primarily for people with blindness and low vision. It allows interaction with the device using spoken feedback. Talkback tutorial. Showing items 1 to 3 of 5. Alright, now let's write the L letter on the screen. Let me show you to open the global context menu. Showing items 1 to 8 of 8. Automatically advancing to lesson 1. Lesson 1, basic navigation. Part 1, explore by touch. Alright, now let's choose talkback settings. In order to do it, you have to tap on talkback settings once and then double tap to confirm it. Let me show you. Talkback setting. Talkback settings. And here let's hold down together volume down and volume up. So let's keep holding those two keys for a couple of seconds to disable talkback. Alert use accessibility shortcut. Choose use shortcut, use shortcut. double tap. Talkback settings. Let's hold down again volume down and volume up simultaneously. Talkback off. As you can see the talkback is disabled. So now we can scroll down and choose help and feedback. Here let's choose get started with voice access. Let's play this video. Alright. Let's use share key and choose more. Here we've got the YouTube application. That's what we need. Let me minimize this video and close it. Alright, here let's use the accounts right here in that corner, choose the settings, select about, choose Google privacy policy, tap accept and continue, choose no thanks, and now you can use the Chrome, that's what we need. Let's open the following website, download dot hard reset. Info. Here I have this website, download.hardreset.info. Let's open this website. Alright, here let's find the Sony folder. So here I have Sony and let's tap it. Alright. So now let's make it bigger again and choose FRP folder. And here let's select the FRP bypass right here, the second app. Tap continue, tap allow Chrome to access photos, media and files on your device. Tap OK. If nothing happens, you can download this one more time. Let's allow, tap download. Here you can choose more key and select downloads. As you can see, my one app is downloaded, so let me open it. Here I have the Chrome settings, let's choose settings, let's allow from the source right here, let's go back, choose install, tap open, and here we need to choose Google account manager right here, let's tap it, choose for version 6.0, tap settings, let's allow from the source, and let's go back, choose install right here.
let's tap done. Now choose bypass FRP, choose browser sign in, choose more key in that corner and tap browser sign in again. Tap OK. Alright, now you need to sign in into some Google account. It could be any Google account, not connected to this device of course. It could be new account, just the Google account that you know the password and the email. So let me enter my Google account, not connected to this device. Let's tap next. It's time to enter the password, let me do it. Alright, if you are ready, let's choose sign in. You have to wait a couple of seconds in my case. Alright, as you can see the following note pops up, let's tap cancel. So now let's press power key and choose restart. What's really important that you should just sign in into some Google, Google account and no matter what the next screen will be on your device, you just have to restart your device. So as you can see my smartphone is restarting. Alright, let's go for just for this setup process, let's choose get started, accept the information, tab Wi-Fi only, let me skip inserting SIM card, setup as a new, let me also skip the Wi-Fi connection, tab continue, it's a good sign that we can skip the Wi-Fi connection, let me skip also the fingerprint management, let me agree to the Google services, tab not now, skip again, next and finish as you can see now you've got access to your home screen so it means that you just activate your device without a google account but just to be sure that you just erase all factory reset protection information from the device let's perform the hard reset by using the settings so tap apps icon here you should find and select settings scroll down to the bottom of the list and choose system now tab reset and choose factory data reset. As you can see here you've got the information about your Google account that you signed in previously. In the process let's choose reset phone and erase everything. So this is like the full reset operation. The hard reset will erase all personal data from the device. Let's wait until the whole process will be completed. Excellent, the welcome panel just pops up, so now let's go quickly through this initializing process, tap get started, accept, choose Wi-Fi only, let me skip inserting SIM card, set up as a new, skip also Wi-Fi connection, tap next, next, skip fingerprint management, skip anyway, more, and agree, choose not now, skip, next, and finish. As you can see, just activate your device without the Google account and now you are sure that you just erase the factory reset protection from your device and you just bypass the Google verification. So basically everything went well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.